Tyler here with GP Knives, and we're back again for the week 27, 2020 weekly update. We'll start out this week with the Steel Will Sedge. If you haven't seen my overview on this knife, you can check that out on the channel. This is the Sedge Mini, and that is the F19M. The full size version is just the F19. These come in two different colorways. We've got the black with gray G10 and a red backspacer. And then it also comes with a satin blade, black G10, and a blue backspacer. It's a D2 tool steel in a full height flat grind, oval hole for opening, phosphor bronze washers, stainless steel liner lock construction. You got a nice contour G10 for the handle, a crowned and proud backspacer for an even more contoured feel. And you've got two pocket clips for ambidextrous carry and deployment. Great little EDC in the smaller mini size. And the larger size is still slim and light enough for everyday carry, but delivering a nice full size. So we still have these in stock, and you can check out that overview on the channel now. Next up, we have the Heretic Knives Medusa. This is an out the side button lock automatic. You've got a black coated blade of CPM S35VN and this sort of modified Tonto, high saber grind and a long swedge there at the top. Some jimping on the spine as well. And this one has solid copper handles in their Chemtina or chemical patina finish. So a nice unique and striking finish on there. Nice heft in the hand with the copper slab handles. You've got a right hand tip up only pocket clip with ceramic tension ball. And then partial backspacer here with exposed lanyard and striker pommel. And we've also got this model in just a solid raw copper as well. So if the chemical patina finish isn't to your liking, we do have just plain copper versions as well. 100% made in the USA, nice snappy coil spring automatic, and a great EDC size while delivering a unique and stylish look and a nice hefty feel with that solid copper construction. And next up we have the premium version of the SOG Terminus XR. It's a great little EDC knife, and this one comes with satin finished CPM S35VN stainless steel for the blade. So a bit of an upgrade from the D2 tool steel. Same XR lock and multiple deployment options. You can use the thumb studs, the index flipper, or the XR lock itself. We've got black G10 with carbon fiber overlay for the handles. Semi open back construction with stainless steel liners. And you can see they are milled out for weight reduction there and a reversible extra deep carry tip up stainless steel pocket clip. So great little EDC knife, very utilitarian design with that clip point, a high saber grind for a good durability and slicing performance. And of course that rock solid and ambidextrous XR lock. And we've also got another premium folding knife design that is also ambidextrous. The US made Benchmade Mini Freak 565-1. And you can also check my overview out on this particular knife. And it is commonly known as the Mini Super Freak. And that's because this is the upgraded version of the Mini Freak with a CPM S90V blade and full carbon fiber handle construction. So Great little compact EDC, stylish enough for gentleman's carry and high performance enough for extended heavy use. S90V is going to deliver good corrosion resistance and excellent wear resistance. Dual thumb studs and dual anodized red backspacers for a little pop of color there. Very comfortable and ergonomic. Despite the mini size, it does offer a full four finger grip. And you've got a reversible stainless steel pocket clip and in-mounted lanyard hole there. So 
great little high performance option from Benchmade and that should be available very soon. At the other end of the spectrum from the minis, we have the Spyderco Yojumbo. This is an XL version of the Yojimbo. Same Warncliffe style blade made from CPM S30V with that mid-height hollow saber grind. Nice thick blade stock, but you can see it's got a very fine point thanks to that deep hollow. Great slicing knife here. Coarse black G10 handle construction. Open back. You've got the Spyderco compression lock mechanism. And you can see it's got a nice smooth operation, partly due to the heft of that blade. Despite the size, it's going to carry pretty well. You've got four position clip option. This is a Michael Janich design and is designed primarily for self-defense, but can also make a great utility knife. This is quite a large knife for EDC. I'll show it with the paramilitary two. So you can see it's a fair bit larger than the PM2, but still well within the realm of daily carry if you prefer a larger folder. And of course, this is made in Golden, Colorado, USA. So you've got great USA construction and materials and a solid Warncliffe design that is functional for a variety of purposes. Next up, we have the Bruce from Viper Knives. And this is a Tommaso Rumisi design. He also designed the Piercer from Steel Will, as well as the ever popular Viper Dan slip joint. The Barus has a blade of Bowler in 390. And it comes in two blade shapes. We've got the drop point here. This one has a black canvas micarta. It's also available in green canvas micarta, carbon fiber, and marble carbon fiber. And the micartas are going to have the stonewashed finish, a nice full height flat grind, crowned spine with a little bit of fine jimping there. You got an oversized lanyard hole that will also accept a carabiner. A nice cutout here for the middle finger for a nice solid and secure grip. And these are gonna come with a custom molded Kydex sheath and ulti clip retention clip. So very low profile with a very high level of retention. You can see it's got a metal spring clip there and it's gonna be quite tight and very secure. And you can adjust that for a variety of carry options as well. So great little compact EDC would make a great neck knife and just an excellent high performance fixed blade with a lot of versatility in the design. And then we'll take a look at the Barus 2. This one is a sheep's foot style blade. And you can see this one is a carbon fiber and the carbon fiber models are gonna have a satin finish, but all four handles and blade finishes are gonna be available in both blade shapes. So two different designs in the blade, two different blade finishes, and four handle variations all together. And last but not least, we have the Prometheus Lights Alpha Executive Pin. This is a very premium and minimalist construction pin, precision crafted and machined. You've got a custom brass clip screw attaching the titanium pocket clip, a machined brass cap that screws onto the body on both sides. And then this is designed around a specific refill. It comes with a Montverde, but this is designed for the Mont Blanc rollerball. And you can see the cartridge actually screws into the end of the pin itself. So very minimalist and secure. And it provides an excellent writing experience, both with that cartridge and the precision machined pin. And to pair with your precision pin for an excellent writing experience, we carry a full line of field notes, including the 
new National Park Series D release. So it's a trio of U.S. National Parks. This is Grand Teton, Arches, and Sequoia. You've got graph paper inside. And then on the back, you get a little bit of information about each of the national parks. And then we've also got their new vignette series. And this is a fully customizable notebook series. You can see it comes with some samples and they slide into a sleeve on the front, but you can fully customize these with your own unique images. And it also comes with a nice tool allowing you to test an image to see how it will fit in the vignette in the field note notebook. So great high quality printed and made in the United States and an excellent pairing for any pin, but especially the Alpha Executive pin. Again, this is Tyler with GP Knives and your week 27, 2020 weekly update. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and stay sharp. If you like what you've seen today and you'd like to see more, follow us on social media, like the video below, and subscribe to our YouTube channel feed for updates on all new products.